The first step is to import your footage and don't forget to pre-comp the footage. Now select the pen tool and make sure your clip is highlighted. Now mask around your subject's eye. It doesn't have to be that perfect. After you're done with your first masking, go down to the mask and make sure it says none and then do it for the other eye as well. After that, go to the tracking window, make sure you're selected on the mask down below and then do position scale and rotation and then just click analyze forward. It doesn't have to be that perfect. Little bit jittering is okay. Once it's done, go back to the first frame and select mask two and repeat the same process. Now let's create a new solid layer by right clicking. New, solid, keep the color white and click okay. Now control clicking on both of these masks at the same time and then clicking control C and then control V onto that new solid layer. And then you're going to change the mask from saying none to add. Now we'll apply sapphire rays to the solid layer. Drag the rays center to the face or wherever you like. It would be nice if you adjust the center point little bit far from the eyes because the more you go further, the length of the rays will increase. Now this part's all going to be personal preference. I would like to increase the length and then brightness around 4.5 and then alpha to 1. Now to animate the rays, you can do that by key framing the center of the rays at the beginning of the clip and another key frame at the end, so that the rays moves throughout your clip. To create more natural looking glow, you can use universal glow or deep glow, but I like to use sapphire glow. It doesn't really matter, they're all roughly the same. Some of the settings I would like to change is threshold to 0.35 and then increase the brightness around 2.5. Now what if you want to change the color of the rays? Simple search effect called tint and you could choose whatever color you like. Muchas gracias, oficial. Este es para vosotros. Sí.